They're ready day 45, uh, which means every 15 days, it's time for another inspiring educator. And this one is not going to be local. This is going to be from a colleague that works somewhere else outside of my kind of s scope here in the uh, Bellevue, Seattle area. Um, so today's inspiring educator is another one of the co-nominees for the Social Justice Activist of the Year Award last year, um, and that is Miss Chelsea Acosta from Utah. And um, so Chelsea, love you and appreciate you and all that you do. So Chelsea, her, her main advocacy has been um, for LGBTQ as well as for undocumented students in our schools. And being in Utah and having a large um, migrant population and immigrant population, this has been a crucial piece of really trying to fight for safe schools, uh, really trying to make sure that students are pr protected and families are well informed um, around the you know, around protections at school and what, what they, how they're safe and how they're not safe. It's really important to be able to communicate that information out. And Chelsea does a, um, some phenomenal work there to be able to do that. Um, she also has, you know, as a member of the LGBTQ community and a teacher, um, has a special connection with being able to further, uh, the, discussions and protections for, for our students that also identify as LGBTQ and you know that you know, I think a lot of times people think that we have somehow just kind of like we're post-racial I think sometimes people think that we're post um, any type of discrimination against LGBTQ and it's just not the case um, they're still very much underrepresented as teachers uh, in our schools and they still um, face a lot of pushback and backlash and so uh, the courage that Chelsea shows just by being she's like unashamedly herself and I love that so much about her um, she does not care what you think about her she is who she is uh, and she is going to be who she is and then you know uh, I think I think anybody who has the courage to do that and does so on a consistent basis is going to make you know a lot of other people uncomfortable and have them come against her and so this is also a woman that I think um, although she has some support structures around her also faces a lot of opposition and so Chelsea you know haters gonna hate and uh, just always remember that there are plenty of educators that adore you and appreciate everything that you're doing um, and continue to do so uh, if you have not if you if you don't know Chelsea or you haven't seen anything she's doing I encourage you to you know find her on Facebook follow her on Twitter uh, whatever it may be she's definitely going to keep you apprised and updated on you know information around our undocumented students and uh, what you can be doing to to help um, those groups and to, in your own schools. So, uh, yeah, I, I love you, buddy, and I hope that um, you are feeling encouraged and energized after doing the name conference last week and uh, from this. So much love and continue to fight the good fight.